big change in Miami-Dade County. Smoking marijuana likely will not get you in trouble with the law. It's not quite a smoke them if you got them situation. The state attorney says a new law in Florida is creating a problem. So for now at least, a lot of marijuana offenses will not be prosecuted. CBS Force Ty Russell is live in Miami to explain. Ty. Well, Elliot, state attorney offices throughout Florida have been reacting to this new state law. And tonight we are getting a better understanding just about the number of people this could impact if this policy stays in place. In a letter to law enforcement, the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office announced it's not prosecuting misdemeanor marijuana cases. That's when someone has 20 grams or less. The hurdle that we now have affects all marijuana prosecutions, regardless if they're minor, such as simple possession of a small amount of marijuana, or whether it's a trafficking marijuana case. Howard Rosen is an assistant state attorney. He says the Miami-Dade Police Department doesn't have a lab to test the difference between hemp, which has a small amount of THC, and marijuana. Hemp, which is defined as cannabis of THC levels of 0.3% or below. Hemp has been legal in Florida since July 1st, and since it smells and looks like marijuana, prosecutors are asking police departments to foot the bill themselves and go to a lab approved by the Drug Enforcement Administration. Prosecutors also say because of an outside lab for each case, the state attorney's office will need to hire an expert witness. We have to be able to prove what the THC level is. The policy change could impact thousands. After a CBS 4 News investigation, we learned more than 44,000 people were arrested in Miami-Dade from 2010 to 2014, and more than half were black defendants. That was for having a small amount of marijuana. This is not legalizing marijuana in Miami-Dade County, in the state of Florida at all. Um, this is just an impediment to us being able to prove the cases. Prosecutors are also asking police who believe someone has marijuana to use more than their nose. They say look for other clues like guns, a lot of money, or drug paraphernalia, and even red eyes. Attorneys also want police to get the lab results before making an arrest. This is not a death knell to all prosecutions of marijuana cases. Rosen says the lab in the county should be up and running in six months. And while it seems the decision is temporary, a spokesperson for the office wouldn't clarify. And the state attorney's office also says the number of arrests is already down here in Miami-Dade because of the policy change. Now tonight I am still working to learn if there would be any changes in Broward County. But for now, we are live tonight in Miami. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News Tonight.